27 goals, 17, 179. Pete Clonell, 21 goals, 18, 144. And there's Bob Hammond again coming off the ground. A very, very happy captain coach for all. I think player is where you have the most enjoyment, most fun, the most camaraderie. Coaching's uh, next, and administration's next. I think that uh, they, they're very clearly one, two, and three. When you're involved at club level, you live the game. If you're beaten on the Saturday, you don't sleep on the Saturday night. The sense of belonging is very strong. The sense, sense of comradeship, the sense of making new friends, and are all part of being in a club situation. And uh, that, that applied to the commission as well, because uh, I've got great, great respect for all the commissioners, but there were those on the commission I, I become quite friendly with and remain friendly, friends with and will be friends for life, so to speak. Bob Hammond towards Dylan. Dylan's had a good game. When I was 21, I'm fortunate enough to play my first state game, and uh, that, that's a memory that all, uh, I cherish. I think history will say that uh, that was as good a state side as South Australia ever put out. And I was fortunate just to crack it at the right time for a game to join that band of single-minded people that wanted to beat Victoria, let alone on the MCG. There was something like 10,000 people at the airport to greet the, the side home because I mean, the, the feat was, was recognised in South Australia and, uh, and were, in some sense, bigger than the Beatles. Picked up by Hammond. Hammond pushed the ball in front of him and punched it straight over the line and out of go, out of hand. Bob Hammond throws the ball out. Played a magnificent game for his side. 73 grand final with North Adelaide was to be my last game for the club because I'd been appointed a, an export manager for a furniture company in South Australia and that was a position I was going to take up. Out of the blue, and I say out of the blue, Norwood came to me with an offer to coach. There was a groundswell at Norwood that whoever replaced Robert Odie as coach was going to cop it and uh, I copped it, I copped it sweet. One particular lady I was introduced and she said, I held out my hand, she refused to take it and said, I've never liked you and I never will. So that was amongst many, many people and so it was very embarrassing. But uh, um, we overcame it because a year, 80 months later, we won a grand final and uh, I didn't say anything because I didn't have to. Premierships, state side, victory on the MCG, the formation of the Crows and then the ultimate two premierships with the Crows. It's pretty hard to prioritise those. The good folk of Adelaide arrived in their droves at Football Park to see their invincible Crows take on Hawthorne in the first premiership match of the AFL season. Played Hawthorne in the first game and had a, an outstanding and stunning win and that certainly cemented the place of the Adelaide Football Club in the hearts of, of South Australia. Both those sides, in my opinion, weren't the best sides in the competition that year. They were about the fourth or fifth best side, which speaks volumes for the coaching. Malcolm did that. He had them single-minded in the in September when it counts, and uh, the rest is history. And I had ten wonderful years on the commission, working with some outstanding individuals and outstanding people, and uh, enjoyed every minute of it. I felt that I could offer an opinion from a club-based point of view that was unbiased and, 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 and had some history to it. You are yourself, whatever that might be, and the moment you, you try to become something that you're not, you, you're in trouble. Football fashioned my life because of the team spirit, effort required, the highs, the lows. I had no real formal education. I, um, I had my intermediate, which was third year high school. And I guess that football's been my greatest tutor. <laughs>